These babies cannot read, they cannot write, and they cannot comprehend. General education fourth graders do not know the alphabet, but they just have to keep moving them up because that is just what we, that's what's expected. Let's not blame it on COVID because they were behind in 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016. Shall I go on? No child left behind, left every child behind. Educators are taking to TikTok to voice their concerns about the persistently low reading and math scores among students across the U.S. According to a federal assessment referred to as the nation's report card, which was released this past June, scores in both subjects hit their lowest levels in decades among 13-year-old Americans. A year earlier, U.S. public schools reported that on average, 50% of students were behind grade level in at least one subject. Although several studies say online education during the pandemic is to blame, a number of teachers believe that's just scratching the surface of a much larger issue. Some teachers fault parents for not noticing that that their children are behind or say the prevalence of technology has been detrimental, while others say low student achievement levels have been an issue since former President George W. Bush signed into law No Child Left Behind, an act that prioritized standardized testing and in return deprioritized the arts, social studies, and recess. But there's one invisible crisis that an 18-year-old girl from West Virginia is hoping to bring to the forefront. Millions of children in this country go without books. And so when I learned about this invisible crisis, I really wanted to merge passion into purpose and take action to help end book deserts, especially for children. Book deserts are caused by many reasons. Most of them are either living in a rural area where books are scarce, maybe because of a lack of a library nearby. Sometimes it's just due to poverty because at the end of the day, when you have to choose between money going towards food and money going towards a book, food's always going to win. If you don't have books at home, you don't really see the impacts until you get those literacy scores back in fourth grade. When she was only 13 years old, Zuri created the Literary Society to help bridge the book desert gap. She learned of the crisis through her grandfather who grew up in rural Asia. I just became enamored of how to enable more kids to read because I know the transformative power of reading. I've seen it with my grandfather. He was able to get an education through literacy and it really was the ladder out of poverty for him. It not only can improve literacy outcomes for these children, but it also helps them understand the world better and sparks creativity and enables them to dream about their futures, which is an incredible, almost magical power that books have. And so at the Literary Society, we have a very specific mission of ending book deserts for disadvantaged preschool children. And we do this through the donation of brand new books. What started out as a group of 25 girls has now grown to more than 2,000 members, but that was just the beginning for Zuri. This past October, she became the youngest person to successfully author a U.S. Senate resolution. I started drafting a United States Senate resolution when I was 16 years old. I wrote and established the State Day, which was proclaimed by Governor Jim Justice of West Virginia last year and then I took it to the Senate and it was a bipartisan resolution. The Literary Society has donated more than 28,000 brand new books to preschool students and Head Start programs in all 50 states and Washington DC.